out. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to see sound waves. <laughs> so we're here at the Imagination Station, and we've got, of course, our favorite scientist, Carl, with us. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Sound waves, you're not supposed to be able to see them. Right. Didn't mean to scare you there, but <laughs> I love so it. what we've got here, <laughs> it's a pipe filled with propane gas, just like in your home grill. Mm -hmm. And on the top, there are a whole bunch of holes that allow the gas to come out. Now, the cool thing is we can pump some sound waves into that tube to set up regions of uh, different high and low pressure. Okay. okay. So you see, as I change the frequency, you can get regions where there's low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, high pressure, low pressure, okay? And so it's sort of an interesting way to visualize uh, sound waves. So cool. However, <laughs> however, it would be yes. way cooler if we were to pick up the microphone oh. and just like give us a little, uh, give us some music. So sing something low. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Huh? See, a lot, of the, a lot of the low frequencies really work well and resonate with the tube. High frequencies don't work quite so well, um, but we do have a little, um, <laughs> little more fun song here. <laughs> Say, are you so, singing? That is me. That's right. <laughs> So, so you, you, you kind of get the idea here that you can actually visualize sound yeah. waves in a flammable gas. Why does that work like that? Well, because sound waves are compression waves, okay. right? So we're shooting compression waves from this speaker into the tube, and they compress the gas, and when the gas gets compressed, it shoots out the holes, the flames get larger. Okay, so the lower frequencies go even farther. Well, the lower frequencies tend to resonate with the tube more so than the high frequencies. Okay. The high frequencies um, don't really tend to work as well. Yeah, because like when you hit a low note, and it really went high. See, the high frequencies, not so much. Whoa. Lower frequencies have a little bit more oomph to them, and they're actually pumping the gas out a little bit better. So when the kids go to their science class, after they see this, what are they going to tell their science teacher? They're going to talk about the fact that sound waves are compressional waves. They're not like uh, water waves, okay, because when I'm talking to you, I'm compressing some of the air in front of my mouth, and it's expanding, compressing, expanding, and spreading out, and that's what's reaching your ears. Okay, and of course you can create different frequencies as we saw by just uh, tuning the uh, signal generator here. You get different wavelengths, yeah. right? Because the higher frequencies had a shorter wavelength, longer frequencies had a longer wavelength. I see, I see the science project for all the kids around the region right now. What do you think, Carl? Or maybe all the dads, because Ooh. this is one of the things all the dads say they want to have out when they're barbecuing and whatnot. I love it.